I want to respond to Will's response to slapping Chris Rock openly on national stage. I find his response quite interesting. He never apologized to Chris Rock for what he did. And I'm sure he didn't apologize because he meant to do what he did, but his response is quite hypocritical and don't match to the actions that he took upon Chris Rock. I'm going to play his response for you, and then I'm going to briefly comment on that. Listen to this. Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Wait a minute. You just got done slapping a man on national stage. And now you want to bring up God. And what God wants to do with you in this world. That's quite hypocritical and that's not biblical. But continue to listen. <clears throat> Making this film, I got to protect Anjanou Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people. But wait a minute, you just openly slapped a man on national stage. How is that loving people? You could have talked to that man. You could have pulled that man to the side after the show. But instead, you took it upon yourself to openly assault that man. And now you want to bring up God and talk about how you love people. And I don't think these tears are sincere. I think the tears are Probably because of the fact that he did what he did. He's trying to cover up his reputation now. He did something that was that was out of character or insane. Or he's defending the honor of a female that cheated on him. That embarrassed him openly to the world. And that talked about an entanglement. With another man. Another man was, went up in his wife. And he did nothing to that man. But now he feels he has to protect his family. From who? Chris Rock? Pookie? Little Penny? I still have a little Penny doll. You know? Can you do that for a brother? You put your hands on a man that was not going to fight you back. And now you want to talk about love and, and, and God and what God has for you to do in this life. And to protect people and to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. 
In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. The devil was in you when you took it upon yourself to put your hands on Chris Rock for making a joke, a comedian. Now, I want to end this with a scripture. And it's taken from the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, reading the 22nd and the 23rd verse. And it reads as follows. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And then it says, against such, there is no law. That self-control is one of the fruit of the spirit of Yah. So if God was really dealing with you, and if you really had the fruit of the spirit, if you're really filled with the most high's Holy Spirit, the, the fruit of the spirit is self-control. You would have had control over yourself to keep from getting up out of your seat, walking up to Chris Rock with no words exchanged and slapping him across his face. And then on top of that, the vulgar language you used at what was supposedly have been a family friendly show. The vulgarness that you used. Keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And you repeated it a couple of times. Loudly. So God is not dealing with you. That's the devil. And that's why I say you have to really be careful when you hear people talk about how God is dealing with them. The question I ask is. Which God are you referring to? Because it can't be Yahweh. It can't be Yah. Yehovah. It can't be the most high God. Because the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, temperance, self-control. You should be able to control yourself. But instead, you were out of control. And not one time did you apologize to that man for that joke. So that's my response to Real's response. Feedback. Tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.